Welcome to this video on Speed Up My Computer. In this video, you are going to learn how you can quickly increase the performance of your computer and make it run faster. All right. If you are trying to use this computer for gaming and lots of other graphic purposes, these tips might not help you much. But if you are using it for um, Microsoft uh, Word or PowerPoint, Excel, or you use it to surf the internet, this might help you a lot because I've used these tips to actually increase um, the speed of my computer around 100 to 200 percent. Right? It really depends on what is your co the condition of your computer. Okay, so let's start with the first few tips. All right. So these tips works for Microsoft Win, uh, Microsoft Windows XP, Vista, and Seven as well. So this for, let's start with the first tip. It is called removing visual effects. Well, visual visual effects are effects that that makes your windows look nicer, look cooler, such as fading, shadow, all these effects makes it look nice. However, you with these effects, it will actually uh, slow down your computer because it takes some processing power. So removing it, you could actually see a significant increase of your speed. So what you need to do is first go to your computer, right click, click on properties, all right, and next click on advanced system settings all right this is very similar to XP and Vista as well so under choose the advanced tab next under performance click on settings all right so by default yours is yours looks something like this adjust for best performance all right uh, appearance sorry so it looks nice but we want best performance so click on this and click apply click apply over here and that's all so once you are done uh, you see um, you see a significant increase of on your computer okay so let's continue with the second tip the second tip is actually called uh, using disk cleaner all right disk cleaner is a free software uh, created it was actually included in Microsoft Windows and you can use it for free to clean up lots of uh, unused files, temporary files that is actually slowing down your entire uh, computer. So what you need to do is click on the start menu, right? choose all programs and choose accessories, system tools and search for disk cleanup. All right, sorry, name is called disk cleanup, not disk cleaner. All right, so choose the drive that you need uh, and you click on it, okay. So, all right, so it will actually start to calculate the space that it is able to help you to clean up. All right, so I'll pause the video for a while and once it's finished, I'll show you how it looks like. All right, so I'm finished over here. So it actually calculate you could actually I could actually free up to 300 over megabyte of this space. Well, if you ha because I used to clean this uh one or two days ago. So if you haven't been cleaning using this cleanup for some time, you probably could clean up to two or three gigabyte of this space. So pick the ones that you want to clean up. All right, just tick them, and you could actually just hit the um, OK button and you could start cleaning them up. OK, this takes a few minutes, but once you are done, you could actually see uh, another uh, increase in your computer speed. All right. So let's move on to the next tip. The next tip is clearing, clearing your browser data. OK, if you are using uh, Internet uh, browsers such as Google Chrome, Internet Explorer or Mozilla to surf the internet. Um, every time you surf different web pages, they will have those temporary internet files and cookies and lots of other information that is slowing down your computer. So cleaning them up will actually help you to surf the internet faster and you'll make your computer run faster as well. So how to do that? Let's show you um, how you can do that at Internet Explorer. Alright, so this is Internet Explorer. You probably could recognize it 
Okay, so how to clean all the browser's uh, data such as history, cookies? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, you can just click on safety and click on delete browsing history. Well, some of, some uh, if you're using other versions of Internet Explorer, uh, it could probably be at tools, but in this case, I'm at um, under safety. Okay, so just click on delete browsing data. All right, so <coughs> I'll, all you need to do is just tick all of them. Um, all right, so if you have lots of form data or passwords, I highly recommend you to untick them. But if you don't save any password on your browser, um, just tick all of them and hit delete. All right, it might take some time to delete everything, but you once you finish deleting it, uh, you free up lots of space and your browser will work much more faster. Okay, so how to do this on Mozilla Firefox? Okay, so um, this is not my website, but um, it actually explains everything and it's actually pretty, pretty easy. So because I hardly use Mozilla Firefox, but what you need to do is just go to tools and search for clear reason history. Right, I've done this a few times. All right, so once you click it, you'll see this box over here, dialog box. So choose everything. Um, by default, it will be probably last hour or today. So choose everything and hit the clear now button. It might take a few minutes or maybe a few seconds. Um, and this is how you do it. Do this on Mozilla Firefox. All right, so let's go to Google Chrome. Okay, so. All right, this is Google Chrome. So how to clear um, the browsing um, data? All you need to do is just click on the tool over here and click options. All right, so click clear browsing data and tick all of them and choose everything and click the clear browsing data and you are done. All right, so let's move on to the next tip. The next tip is called Scan with PC Doctor. Well, there is a free tool uh, called PC Speed Doctor. It is able to detect all the errors and um, files that you, uh, is in your computer, but you need to delete it to speed up your computer. Well, um, I'm going to show you how this tool looks like. All right, so it's just over here. So just go and click on free instant scan and you'll see how they actually do lots of things for you. So um, to, to detect why your computer is slow, okay? To access this uh, PC Speed Doctor, all you need to do is just go to my blog that I created called the best way to speed up computer.blogspot.com. Well, it's pretty long. I have included the link under my YouTube video. All right, so just go there and just click on this PC Speed Doctor. Alright, and you could actually reach that page and start using this. Alright. Okay, the next tip is called overclock your CPU. Well, uh, some people might think that this is a dangerous way of doing, uh, speeding up your computer. Um, especially, but for guys, they really enjoy, love doing it, including me. So, overclock means that you're actually forcing your computer hardware to run faster. Um, by getting them to run faster, normally it will become, uh, it will get overheated. Um, if you have a very good cooling system, you don't. Uh, this will not be a problem. And if you have some software to monitor your heat and alert you when it is overheated, so it will not be a problem. It could basically uh, increase the speed of your RAM, your CPU, and even your graphic cards um, up to 50%. Some could even increase it up to 100%. Well, if you want to do this safely, I highly recommend you to get a book at um, this website. Okay, it is also on my blog over here. Uh, overclock your CPU. Okay, just click on it and you'll reach this um, website. All right. So this is a, a IT expert who is able to actually increase a CPU performance up to 100%. <coughs> All right. I've gone through uh, some part of their book and it's very, very useful and he really know what he's doing. Okay, I seen how he actually 
um, increase the performance of a CPU from 1.9 gigahertz to 3.5 so it's a lot so that's all for the tips and I really thank you for watching and hope you enjoy your new computer because it's going to run much faster after applying all the five tips and remember to visit um, more tips at best way to speed up computer.blogspot.com right, see you and if you really like this or you have any questions feel free to comment under my video at uh, under the YouTube video okay thank you